Saturday morning, April 27th, and I didn't post my video last week. Um, I did weigh myself last Friday, and it was 213. And I was supposed to weigh myself yesterday, but the problem is, if I don't get in early enough before my clients come in, um, uh, sometimes I might have uh, three, four, five people back to back, and then I forget, or some other stuff come come up. So um, yesterday I was running really late, so I weighed myself this morning at you know I'm using the country club scale, and I always I don't like using different scales. I like using the same scale on a consistent basis, and I re always recommend my clients do too. Whatever scale you weighing yourself with. Um, that's the still that's the scale you stick with the whole entire time because scales may vary from you know from scale to scale you know so like I said I was 213 as you see I was 216 up three pounds but I had a pretty big meal last night and as you guys know I eat at night and I really it may maybe didn't have a chance to digest and go to the bathroom yet so that can be it regardless i don't like it and and that and i'm nine weeks out from the show and like i mentioned before i started the show late i'm not gonna say too late but um late enough that there's no messing around and i'm not getting on stage looking crappy i at least want to be competitive and i, I want to do other shows in the year so this is going to be show number one so um the shows I'm, I really want to be sharp for is the, the the one in August that's going to be in Greenville, North Carolina. Uh, so I'm about to cut out all my cheat meals. You know, those of you who may not watch my past videos or initial video that I was going to be cheating, I don't like saying cheat. I hate the word cheat. It's more of a treat because it's not cheating if it, if it's you know it's already planned. If it's in the program, it's not cheating. It's part of what you know the script. But I need to cut that out. Um, it could be age, you know, that can be a factor. I mean, it could be a different factor. It could be stress. I got a lot more on me this year than I ever had in my entire life. So, what I mean on me, I mean, as far as business, I mean, it's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. It's just still stress. And, you know, I got to adjust accordingly. So, if I only have nine weeks to go, and here I am, 216, I'm supposed to be 285, um, I better step it up big time. And like I said, I'm, I'm always training to be competitive, not to be, not just to say I did it, you know, so, and that's, and pretty much that's what, you know, all of us goals are, you know, most people when they're trying to lose weight, what you're trying to do, you're trying to lose body fat and retain muscle or gain muscle. And ladies, I know it's not like a bodybuilder and a lot of you guys not like a bodybuilder, but it's the same concept. You're not, you're not training or doing it for competition but you doing it, you know, to look good and, and be healthy. Same concept, using weight, using diet, um, meditation, you know, keep your stress, keep your stress hormone, cortisol levels at a minimum because that help that makes you gain weight and fat as well, or retain weight. So you don't want the stressors, so you, you meditate. You want you gotta eat right, diet is 75, 80% of it, and you got to train. It's all the same. It's all the same, except you're just not taking it to the extreme. That's why I do this stuff, you know. You know, I'm doing it because I, I it, you know, I go for the show and, and I go through the process and analyze it and be self-aware and, and you know, that I can share with other people and help with my clients. So, I'm up three pounds. Not a good thing, especially nine weeks. Oh, my goodness. All right, I'm, um. Enjoy this beautiful day. Later. Hey guys, if you find these videos helpful, subscribe, like the video, hit that notification bell, and I'll catch you next video.